Sim. <risos> Queiram. It was just good to get everybody back up on cloud nine. Everybody needed that mid-season boost. So after that migration day we had in six, uh, you know, whenever we go back to the lodge, you can see all the bottoms where all the ducks feed. And we noticed ducks were trading around and using the bottoms during the day. And that's a big deal as long as you're not bothering them. And really all season, the ducks that we had since Halloween, they had been night feeding in it. So every night you'd go out there, watch them pour in there by the thousands coming off the refuge. But these ducks were actually sitting there, middle of the day, eating, hanging out, not being bothered. So we finally had some rain coming, you know, kind of the first big substantial rain we had all year. So we figured with this rain coming and all these new ducks using the bottoms during the day, we're gonna go sit out in the pit and uh, see if we can't kill a few. There was a ton of ducks. I, I bet we saw 50,000. It, it was wild, but it was one of those days where the wind would shift out of the south, shift out of the north. The front didn't know what it wanted to do. The ducks didn't know what they wanted to do. I think we shot 20. We were just glad everybody understood that nobody was leaving that place dry. You know, we had some young guys that are huge Daybreak fans come in, that their dads brought them, and it was tough getting them on the schedule because some had COVID, strep throat, and it was tough. We had to move them around, and we just got lucky. It just, we made it work somehow. That next morning, meeting those kids, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, there was three young kids and two dads, and the youngest kid, it was his first duck hunt. And if there's anything that's ever been engraved in my mind, it's uh, that first duck hunt I had, and he's just along for the ride. So it was really cool to meet those kids and, and see just how excited they were. Somebody shoot that crippled on the right out there. Swimming away. Jet. Here. Good boy. We got there and what was weird is we just noticed it, man, these are new ducks. Like they were just, you know, you hit them with a call and they were acting, you know, just acting like new ducks. And they were just trickling around high. And we're like, all right, so we're getting some. And it just kind of, it just, that's how the season went. Just a trickle of new ducks. And, and when you see some migrators, you get them. And it was, man, it was a lot, ton of fun. Remember shot at that one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you boys writing on down there? It was Go ahead, Brian, whatever you think. Get him. Get him. <laughs> I didn't know what I
else to do, do you? Kill him. a huge bunch of teal that we saw flying super high from G bottoms uh, you know somewhere from up there and we got on it got on our teal calls did our teal thing you guys know how we love teal and sure enough they broke down come as fast as they could possibly come and they split up I think there was 50 of them whatever they split up into two groups and one group would come flying through the decoys another group would come flying through the decoys and I was about to blow a gasket because I've seen Eric do this too many times and he thinks he's just gonna get 15 opportunities of, of a big bunch of teal. And uh, God was on our side that day because the two groups, they swung out and they went the opposite directions and then they come back from the same direction and collided right over the decoy spread. Eric got lucky on this one. That's it. Get him. Sit. Sit. Treat that was awesome, wasn't it? You thought I was crazy for a minute, didn't you? Clean him up! Don't shoot my dog. Kill that one. Kill that the boys let us shoot the crew. How many did we sell? How many we And all hell broke loose. Teal falling everywhere. And there was truthfully nothing better than seeing those kids getting fired up after that volley. We rained those out, dude. <laughs> We're not oh. done, kid. What do you think about that? Let's go, baby. What do you think about that, young yeah, man? Is that cool? Oh, sick. Yeah, that tail hunting's fun, ain't it? I think dude, I, I shot, I I shot the first so time. Cool. Got our limit. I shot the first time. It was an awesome hunt, and I'm so happy for those guys. They, uh, and they were a treat and they shot really well for being as young as they were. And uh, those kids made my day. Made the first part of my season for sure. They had a ball. Great, great kids. Yes sir, no sir. And uh, they'll be excited to be on this episode, so. Yeah, take off. Sit. Get him. Sit. Sit. Yeah. It, it was really good. You know, we saw a ton of ducks, a lot of fresh ducks, a lot of ducks that reacted to the to the duck calls. You do not have to see many ducks when they're fresh like that. You can certainly tell the combination of new ducks and a big rain had them trading all day long. So it was chicken wing day that day. That's everybody's favorite. I don't know anybody that doesn't leave North Delta talking about the chicken wings. So it had to be the, the best day in the world for these kids. Shooting the limit, eating some chicken wings, hanging out at the lodge. I just know they were extremely grateful and, and hopefully we get to have them back next year. What did the five fingers say to your face? 
Slap! <laughs> yeah, and you know, the next day after those kids, we went to blind six, Frank was here helping, um, and we had an east wind in six, which is really hard, just really tough wind, because they're looking right at it, and uh, they gotta come over the trees, and they're looking at the blind the whole time. Anytime you do that, that's a tough situation, so. The mallards were acting squirrely, but there was just giant wads of teal, and we did it again. We, we shot it, we got them again. Get him, get him! How many was that? <laughs> Get him, get him! Here we are, the 4th of January. The teal has showed up. The duck's fine. May going back and forth, we bang it. It was a good change. Uh, the 10 day forecast, when we looked at it, they were finally calling for a, a major front system at the, the tail end of it. And you could really tell that these ducks were starting to feel it because we went from seeing a couple hundred ducks to several thousand. <laughs> Get him. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Wasn't that cool? Jet. Well, he went and went that way to here. Here. There's a lot. Hey, heel. Heel, heel. There's another one. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Broke my rule. We shot some a few mallards that day. It was just, man, you had to watch them a long time to get to shoot them. So kind of how the season went. You had to be on top of your game. You had to be efficient. You had to have everything right. I, you know, we moved a lot of decoys last year. That is for sure. <laughs> Awesome day and a very typical day for blind six. Anytime you get a trickle of new ducks, that next day you're gonna kill a pile. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but you're gonna see a ton of ducks. There's gonna be plenty of ducks come through that alley to shoot at, and uh, it was it was just a great hunt.